Grodd returns in The Flash issue 39. After a brief history of the power lightning can instill in people along with the warning that its rightful owner wanting that power back, The Flash is reminded of his first school crush and the wise word his mother imparted on him, just be honest. In the present, Barry asks Iris if she can forgive him. Iris says that while she isn't ready to get back together with him, she still cares for him. She says she has been happier since he and Wally are working together since she has been glad he is still there for Wally despite what they are going through. Barry says that he will never rush her into anything and says he's sorry for how he acted after their run-in with Eobard and the lies he told her. Iris says that she will talk about them and their relationship, but under one condition. She wants to see how the Flash lives for a day. Telling her he would do anything for her, Barry changes into his costume and speeds off with Iris in his arms, wanting to know if she wants to know how he became the Flash. Iris, however, is an ace reporter and already knows how he got his powers and what he chose to do with them. Flash decides then to show her a part of his life she doesn't know. Across the city, Kid Flash is escorting Speed Machine across town in a police convoy to his trial. He stops his escort to meet with Avery Ho, the Flash of China, who wants to join him in seeing Speed Machine put on trial. The convoy ahead explodes as the speedsters rush to the scene. At the scene, they find Speed Machine has been killed by Black Hole for some reason. Above the Earth in the just League Watchtower, Flash shows Iris around. Iris wonders if she can get any scoops about the League, but Barry says that their secrets aren't his to share. He says that he never told her he was the Flash because he didn't want to hurt her and wanted to protect her, but Iris doesn't think that, and she thinks that Barry was protecting himself with the mask. Before Barry can say anything else, she changes the subject, wanting to know what's next. Heading back to Central City, Iris wants to know everything, but Barry isn't sure she should, especially given the other Wally West running around. Suddenly, Barry begins hearing voices in his head, telling him why would Iris want to know Barry when she can know the Flash. As Barry continues to listen to the voices, the world around him freezes, thanks to a blue light coming from inside the city. Heading there, he is attacked by Multiplex, who seemingly now has Speed Force powers. The villain holds Barry down as Mina and Rajin arrive. The Master of Lightning says that he is merely a soldier in the conflict and his true Lord and Master is the God of the Speed Force. As Flash is attacked by Multiplex, the voice gets louder, saying, Whenever Barry called himself the Flash, he was actually confessing to Gorilla Grodd, who grabs Flash, saying that he now knows all his secrets, worries, and fears. The Flash issue 39 was a really cool and interesting issue as Iris tagged along on a sort of day in the life of Flash sort of premise. Although it didn't really get anywhere since I feel like there was a lot missing this issue, a lot of like the little things the Flash does in a day and there wasn't really much of it this issue it was mainly just him and iris talking about their relationship and she didn't really show her anything that she really didn't already know gorilla grod also returned this issue and is i guess kind of like the master of rajan and mina and everything that's kind of been going on he's kind of been in the background sort of manipulating everything so that's pretty cool i'm really excited to see him make a return and i can't wait to see how he fits in to this whole grand plan with Mina and Rajan. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.